so I've, uh, I've hoisted it up it is up uh, I don't like doing this um, so uh, my friend Hank the other week on his um, on his channel um, I'll put another link to his channel if you haven't if you haven't seen it it's really interesting he's made making a diesel electric anyway he was saying how uh, the most dangerous part of um, having a submarine is actually the uh, the building part where you have to do stuff like this and I think he's absolutely right this is quite spooky but I'm just going to put my weight on here so now I did do an F FEA on this frame actually that I made and I can't honestly remember what the capacity of it was but um, instinctively I think we're all right so let's get this whipped out and this new one put in Right, the weight is completely on it now. It's not on the hoist at all. You can see I put those uh, side pieces in actually. I'm just gonna roll it round. I mean, it rolls a treat. I mean, look at that. But obviously with this extra weight at the top at the moment, it's gonna kind of get a bit out of control, but I'm just gonna roll it. So I think I can hold it. What was the hull, the, the seam? So I can just lift it at the moment with the, with the tower on, but what a difference, that's just fantastic. That's going to make a lot of difference for the next stages. So just out of pure interest. This is a bar that I made a while ago to try and lift the hull, but it was too long. But I think if this, in this situation, it'd probably be okay. Just like that. So I'm just gonna, I've set the, uh, zeroed the scale out at uh, whatever it was with that bar on. So, bear with me. Right, so it's up, floating in the air. And I'm weighing, I'm getting a weight of about 421 kilograms. Which is about what I would have thought. Minus, of course, uh, a few welding rods and a hat. So I'm just welding a, a piece of, a uh, couple of pieces of, um, angle to this piece of, of galvanized uh, tube which is all of it which is just all I've got some piece of scrap this is to make an extension for the jack um, but it's galvanized so it, it's really awkward yes yeah, so I'll ground off the zinc from the outside but it's still gonna smoke like hell from the inside so I'll make sure I've got my tackle on and the extractor on Just going to make a really quick adjustment to the jack. Right, 
That was a great example of absolute zero precision milling. That works. Okay, so I've just spent probably the last hour coming in and out and just tweaking the um, tweaking the last little bit out of the hull so it's as near now as is humanly possible with uh, just me on my own and, and I'm really happy it's really really neat really uh, round so it's certainly rounder than Jody B was so I'm, I'm going to make a start now and just get it tacked up. So I'll spin it round and do one on the other side now. And then I can take all this stuff off. Well, this can come off now, actually. Okay, so I've got a load of, of uh, runs on now about whatever that is. Maybe 100, 100 mil, 120 mil. Uh, different places all the way around so I'm going to cut the those bits off now I forgot to say I put these uh, little pieces here of uh, this is 1.5 mil plate that I just uh, bent into a little uh, L shape just to hold the the hull into the the hull off the end cap by one and a half mil normally I don't take the guard off but sometimes you have to and I, I welded these on quite hard so I I've got a feeling that they're going to be a bit of a nuisance. Okay, so uh, that should be fairly straightforward now. I've just got to finish off that TIG, put those TIG roots, and because I can spin this round uh, really easily now, uh, it really isn't going to be very difficult. So just a bit of a welding plod, I'm afraid, for now. Just got to get all the way around with this. Drop the rod. Oh dear. Right, so I finished. Uh, I finished the joint all the way round. So I finished all the way round. Let me just spin it around, make sure I haven't missed a bit. Okay, 
Anyway, that's done, so it's ready for the, the uh, next runs now. Okay, so I'm just holding the, I'm holding the camera, but I've just done my first uh, 7018 pass. Um, and that's one rod from, what is that? Uh, must be about 150 millimeter. I'm doing this with one hand. It's awkward. So I'm just going to carry on like that. That was one one whole rod. So it's going to take quite a few, but I have got a whole box of them. It's going to need another run before a cap. So at least another one more run. Let's <sighs> better get on with it, I suppose. So I've finished the uh, first pass, uh, so I've got another pass to go now on top of that uh, before I can put my cap on, but I think I'm going to have a cup of tea first. Uh, so this is my second pass. So uh, I'm just leaving hopefully enough for me to see, uh, to see the... Um, the edges. I like, feel as if I could possibly go a bit more on that. So this is a uh, the cap and run now. Just got to try and keep it neat all the way around. Have a look here. Where did it go? Oh. oh, so annoying. So I've just got a little, uh, little bit of porosity there. It's so annoying. I'm gonna have to grind that off now and do that little bit again. Okay, so you can see that I'm uh, I'm getting round now with my final run. Uh, I got to there, so I've got to go for up round to round to here yet. So I've, I've, I'm about three quarters of the way round. Uh, didn't half make a mess, and I think I've gone through about 80, 85 rods, something like that. Can't be sure.